Hello all, uh, welcome to the new video. In this video, we'll see how to identify the feedback topology of an amplifier. So, coming to the feedback topologies, uh, there are four feedback topologies which are used. And those are, first one is voltage series, this is one type of feedback topology. And next is voltage shunt. And third topology is current series. Next is current shunt. So any amplifier which uses feedback technique, that is this is a say amplifier and this is the input. So when you connect output to input, this is something nothing called a feedback. So it's a feedback loop. So this amplifier incorporates either one of these feedback topologies. So it's very important for us to identify the feedback topology of an amplifier. So we'll see um, how that is done. Uh, but before um, going further, we need to understand uh, these terms are also used in other way. So we need to identify the synonyms for these four topologies. And after that, we'll identify the feedback topology of popular amplifiers. As I said earlier, uh, many textbooks use different topologies, I mean different names for the same topology. Say, they don't call uh, the particular topology as voltage series. They have different name for this voltage series topology. So how to get the other name too? So let's understand this. Say, this is a voltage series. We can call this topology by even another name. So to get to that other name which uh, other textbooks use, First, rename voltage as shunt and let the series remain series. So after this is done, just interchange this. So in place of uh, voltage, we will call it as series and series will become shunt. So what I mean from this is, voltage series topology is also called as series shunt. So let's take another example. Uh, there is something called current series. So uh, in this case, rename current as series and let series remain series. So now what you do, you need to interchange this. So that will become series and series. So current series topology is also called series series topology. So what you know is you you understand what is current series but you are not aware of series series. So that's how you can convert this current series to another synonym called series series. So some textbooks even use uh, this nomenclature. So you need to understand even this. What do you mean by someone tells you what is series shunt. So you need to get understand that it is they are talking about voltage series. So that's how this is the formula. First, uh, rename voltage as shunt and current as series and just interchange it. So, in case of uh, shunt, just rename it as shunt on the right side. Just change voltage to shunt and current to series. Okay. So, now after, now we have understood the, how to identify, I mean, how to rename the different topologies. Now, uh, let's go to our main part how to identify the feedback topology of an amplifier. So as you all know this is a popular uh, amplifier circuit it's called as non-inverting amplifier because uh, the input is given to the positive terminal of an op amp. So you will get output which is non-inverted and it is called non-inverting amplifier. As you can see uh, this is the output and there are two resistors and this is our feedback loop. So we need to understand how, what is the feedback topology of an amplifier. As you can see, uh, the output, this is a voltage. So the feedback is driven from the voltage. So first we have got, it is a voltage driven. Okay, so just make, uh, I like this, voltage driven because we are extracting the voltage. and once we have extracted the voltage, the voltage is getting divided across these four resistors R2 and R1. So there is a voltage here. Let's call it as V1. So as you can see, 
there is a output here and there is two resistors R2 and R1 so this is V1 so V1 is equal to VO into R1 upon R1 plus R2 ok so this is the voltage and this voltage is being applied to the amplifier so what we are doing this is voltage for one and we are applying it as a voltage so whenever you apply voltage to any amplifier you apply it in series voltage means voltage sources means you think it as series ok current sources means shunt so these are the two differences you need to understand while you are applying any feedback to any terminals you apply voltage in series so the voltage driven uh, we are drawing the voltage we are not drawing voltage we are extracting the voltage and applying it to the terminal as voltage hence the feedback topology is voltage series so as I said earlier voltage series is also called as series shunt so this is the feedback topology of non-inverting amplifier so non-inverting amplifier uses voltage series topology so we have understood that uh, non-inverting amplifier uses voltage series topology also called as series shunt topology now let's come to the another uh, popular amplifier that's called as inverting amplifier so as you can see uh, the input is applied to the inverting terminal that is minus so the output will be inverted suppose this is the input uh, we look something like this then that output you see something inverted output so hence it is called inverting amplifier as you can see there are uh, there is a feedback loop feedback loop so if there is a feedback loop that is a there is a output which is connecting to the input so it uh, it should use one of those four uh, feedback components so how to mm, know that uh, inverting amplifier uses which one of those topologies so to do that we will understand how the circuit works ok as you know uh, there is an input resistor R1 and there is something called uh, resistance R2 which connects both output and input so what happens this output this is in volts so V by R will give us I so there is something called current I so we are applying current to the input terminal so as I said earlier we always apply voltage in series voltage always in series current means shunt hence uh, the feedback topology as you can see this is voltage driven so the main uh, feedback which we are extracting it from is voltage so first we name it as voltage now coming to the second part either we are applying to the input terminal as a current or as a voltage here we are applying it as a current so hence use the name shunt so this is the voltage shunt topology inverting amplifier uses voltage shunt so it can also be renamed as I said earlier rename voltage as shunt and shunt as shunt so cross it so it will become and shut. So inverting amplifiers, inverting amplifier uses voltage shunt or also called as shunt shunt topology. So always remember that first you understand the feedback loop and understand uh, how uh, what actually is going to the input terminal, input terminal either we are applying voltage or current and then 
we just rename it uh, using this formula it, it is voltage we are applying we are applying okay if you are applying voltage then rename it as series in the second side if you are using current use it as shunt so uh, there are two things first understand uh, how the feedback is driven so since this is a VO output we are taking output hence the name uh, I mean, we are taking voltage from the output hence the name voltage and we are applying it in as a current so voltage shunt so that's how you uh, identify the feedback ability of an amplifier so if you have any doubts and uh, if you are not getting how to identify the topology of any amplifier please use the comment section i shall make the video of this thing so thanks for watching please subscribe our channel uh, we'll uh, see a few more videos about uh, feedback in the coming videos thank you